what's up what's up all right so in this next video uh i've shown you the chart we actually have the the same chart pulled up uh we're going to go over just some kind of terminology and just what causes these little things to move uh the the price these candles is what i'm referring to um it's you know it's the imbalance of buyers and sellers the more sellers there are you know the price will come down the more buyers there are um the price will go up. I often refer to this as a, uh, a game of tug of war. Uh, you'll see something enter, and we'll get into this later. Uh, zones that we that we chart out where there's different support and resistance levels, and, and you kind of see it go sideways. That's everything's just balanced out, and you know who's gonna win. Um, I will get into this later because uh, a great analogy. I, the reason I use that is because when you're talking about um, moving the market yourself you know if you come in with a giant account you're just that big buff guy coming into the tug of war match out of nowhere and you will grab that rope pull the other side there will be no one left and you'll be just left there by yourself um, so in a future video I, I'm going to talk about that as far as moving the um, market yourself uh, so just again the imbalance as this is selling off there are more sellers than there are buyers so just to kind of go over the language as you open your brokerage account, uh, there's buying and then there's selling as in selling short. You are actually borrowing the shares and which you're borrowing at a certain price and then you're giving those shares back at a lower price and keeping the change. Um, sort of as, uh, let's say I, I borrowed your watch, I went to a party and I sold that watch and uh, how I do this sell that watch for a hundred bucks I go buy it on Amazon for fifty dollars and I return that exact watch to you you don't know the difference I get to keep the fifty dollars that is essentially what's going on when you are selling a share short you are borrowing the shares and selling it buying it back so the reason I bring that up is because people will make the mistake they just jump right in I've seen this multiple times they will buy shares. They open their brokerage account, they jump right in, they click buy. And at that point, when it's time to sell it, they think sell their shares, sell the shares they have. And at that point, they just open a short position. So depending on your brokerage, that's some terms you'll need to know uh, what, you're, what you're clicking on. Because some actually, for instance, something basic as Robinhood, you are only allowed to go long, which is buy, uh, buy and go to the upside and you cannot short. So on there, you would buy 100 shares and then you would click sell 100 shares. And most brokerages, most, um, I wanna say real, just you know, just more to them, an actual brokerage, you'll see it's uh, closed. You wanna close your position. Whatever you have, whether you went short, whether you buy it and went long, you want to close your position. Um, so obviously green is up, red is down. When you're looking at all these, there's support and resistance. And we're going to get a whole video on how to find these. Uh, support is going to be the bottom. That is the floor you're standing on. That's what supports you and keeps you up. Uh, the resistance is going to be what keeps you from going any higher. That's the that's these top spots. Like this right here is going to be a resistance. That's its really peak. It's just getting harder to go any further. The buyers are just being exhausted at that point. Um, and then, so I have it written down, demand and supply. Um so, so everyone just calls it supply and demand supply is at the top so there's there's too many the supply is there there is enough so that's when you'll start to see it sell off and come back down when something is rare and the demand is there that's what you'll call a demand zone kind of at the bottom and that's where people will start to buy it because the value is there um, so this moves just like anything else the more the more demand there is uh, you know the faster it will it will move up that's where it will bounce uh, you'll see the demand at this price level was there so it was selling off the supply was there it hit this spot that's the demand that's where everybody wants it that's where they found value and it started to push it right back up uh, you know and that's simple terms as like wholesale and resale you want to buy it at wholesale sell it at retail just like anything else you do in life anytime you have a deal you want to make a deal you try to buy something on craigslist for cheap and then sell it at retail uh, we're doing the exact same thing here we want to buy it at a good deal and sell it for a profit um, so just wanted to cover some of those terms just to get everybody uh, on board so you kind of know 
especially when you're watching my streams, what I'm saying and, and what it all means. A, a great website to check out is investopedia.com. If there's ever a term anyone says and you just don't know or you're not sure, uh, check that out. It's a free website. Just go look it up and just get familiar with all these terms so nothing just goes over your head. You know, Don't be afraid to ask either. Um, so and for now, we're going to go on to the next one. Um, until then, if you like what you see, just hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell so you can get notified on the next one. And everything on this video from A to Z, everything you know about trading.